things that Jesus did not say. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to talk to you about some weird things that I hear people say that Jesus never said. One of those things, although I understand the point behind what they're saying, is still not biblical. It's not about religion, it's about relationship. Now, almost everybody in the church has heard this and there was probably some mega church pastor somewhere who had said this and it got catchy because it sounded good. Uh, and I, again, I get the point, but it's so not clear or in script, or let me rephrase it. It's so not biblical uh, for them to say something like this. So I, I wanna give you an example by showing you what scripture says uh, about this point. Now, when people say it's not about religion, it's about relationship, what they're trying to say is we as uh, Christians are not supposed to be focusing on being religious, doing religious things, living a legalistic type life. I totally agree with this. They say it's about relationship and you need to have a, rela a relationship with God, not just do the right things. But when we use phrases like this, and there are phrases that are used in the Bible already, and you're using them with different definitions, it makes things a little bit confusing, and that's why I want to break down what Jesus says. If we look at the book of James, chapter 1, it says, If anyone thinks of himself to be religious, yet does not bridle his tongue, uh, he deceives his own heart, and this man's religion is worthless. Pure and undefiled religion in the sight of our God and Father is this, that we visit orphans and widows in their distress and keep ourselves unspotted from the world. Religion is a very beautiful thing. We love being religious as people and being uh, 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 part of a pure and undefiled religion, keeping yourself unspotted from the world and taking care of orphans and widows and visiting them in their distress. This is what Jesus wants of us. This is what's well-pleasing for us as Christians to live out. And we should definitely be in religion and relationship at the same time. Now, what I want to specify, just so you know I'm not being nitpicky or legalistic, I don't mind people saying this phrase. What I mind is when people say this phrase and then just mic drop it, kind of like make a tweet of it. If you want to say it, that's fine, but you need to explain to somebody what you mean when you say it so that they understand what religion means and what relationship means. Uh, also, another point I think people are getting at with this whole, it's not about religion, it's about relationship, is saying that there's a lot of religions out there, but there's only one relationship that you can have with Jesus. Again, I also agree with this. And as long as that's explained, I don't mind it. But again, I do mind when people say things like this and do not give an explanation because lastly, when we say something like this, it becomes extremely self-righteous when we're having a conversation with somebody and they say, hey, what, what is your religion or are you religious? And you go, oh, no, I'm not religious. It's about relationship. Like you just came off as so arrogant when you said that to somebody who's a non-believer or a potentially you know, lukewarm, false convert, backslidden Christian, whatever you want to call them. When you say something like, oh, no, it's about religion. It's not about it's not about relationship. It comes off as extremely arrogant to people, and that's the kind of crap that they don't like seeing from the church. So just be considerate of that when you're talking to people and make sure that you're sharing the truth in love with people and just telling people what the gospel says about these topics. So you can say it's not about religion, it's about relationship, as long as you explain to them what the heart behind what you're trying to say actually means. If that was helpful, please feel free to subscribe, and we'll chat with you guys in the next one.